Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, et spes nostra salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii hebe, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today is the Feast of St. Ambrose. Now, he was the instructor of St. Augustine, and an amazing, brilliant writer, brilliant thinker in the church. The readings, though, that we have are taken from Tuesday, the second week of Advent. And I want you to listen in a careful, special way to the first reading and to the gospel, and listen for the imagery around being a shepherd, how God shepherds us. I'll be talking about that in the homily today. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sin, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the bishop, St. Ambrose, a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. 
Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, and the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cries out. I answered, what shall I cry out? All flesh is grass and all their glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts. The flower wilts when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. Though the grass withers and the flower wilts, the word of our God stands forever. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he carries the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. The Lord our God comes with power. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. The Lord, the Lord our God comes, comes with, with power. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the people with equity. The Lord, the Lord our God, God comes with power. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord of our comes with power. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, 
It is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, leading the ewes with care. Like a shepherd. We have that imagery scattered throughout the scriptures. It's a beautiful image. Even though in much of Western civilization, this particular agricultural illustration isn't one that a lot of people are are used to, have grown up with. And yet it's in art, it's it's in our common speech. And it's a way that the scriptures often speak of our relationship with the Lord. The Lord is our shepherd. To say that, in light of this first reading, we take this from Isaiah chapter 40, or this passage from Matthew, this is chapter 18. To say that God is our shepherd, that God shepherds us, means that there's a relationship. There's a connection that we are not only connected to the Lord, but there's a whole bunch of us in this flock that the Lord is leading, prompting, guiding. Because let's face it, folks, in that relationship, some days we can use all the help we can get. Some days, like sheep, we can stray. Some days we can wander off on a path that's going to lead only to destruction, harm, isolation. And the shepherd reaches out, longs for, seeks us out, just like the shepherd seeks out the stray sheep. I take great comfort in that particular aspect of the gospel passage today that Jesus is highlighting here this zealous eagerness on God's part to find the lost and bring them back. I take great comfort that the Lord has that same zealous eagerness to find each one of us and bring us back. The times that we've sinned, the times that we've fallen into distraction, temptation, the times when maybe we've said something and we knew it was wrong the minute it left our lips. We we knew we missed a step. The times when we wish we could just go back and erase that action. And yet, we can't go back. But what we can do is follow the shepherd. What we can do is say, okay, Lord, let me listen to your call today. Let me hear your voice today. Let me respond to you today, Lord. And that, yes, if there's been something in the past, this is what repentance is for. If there's something that went wrong, this is what conversion of heart is all about. If there's anything that we've said or done that's not worthy of heaven, then today is a good day to say, Lord, I want to follow you. I want to return to you. I want to seek you. And know that God runs to meet us. That the Lord will not leave a single stone unturned until the Lord finds us. What a beautiful image to hold on to as we follow Christ. Especially when we contemplate things that we're not particularly proud of. The Lord just pushes all that aside and says, you're with me now. You're safe now. I love you. Today, perhaps the takeaway is this. Is there anything in our hearts that's been keeping us from God or one another? If there's anything in our past that just causes us to hang our heads or get real awkward and uncomfortable and squirm, is there anything that's been left in the darkness that needs to be brought to the light? The Lord runs to us. He eagerly seeks us out. May we keep that image in our minds as we turn away from sin and turn back to Jesus. May we be open and honest and know that the Lord's love is greater than any sin. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. Like a shepherd, he nurtures us. God bless you all. We pray this day for the church that we will turn to the Lord our shepherd each and every day, repenting of our sins in constant, continuous conversion of heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world. 
for those places that have been troubled by poverty, violence, or war. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who go without adequate food, clothing, or shelter, for all who are homeless, that through our efforts we can alleviate their suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This cold snap also highlights for those who do not have adequate protection against the winter weather, for their safety and well-being, and for all travelers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause this day to unite our prayers with all those who have suffered from the pandemic, and for all our loved ones who are sick and in need of healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, Kathy Dusek, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of you at home, for the prayers you offer in the comment line, and for all of us, for the prayers we now offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, look kindly upon us. Hear the prayers we offer now, spoken and silent. We make them all in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we earnestly ask you to bless our diocese with many priests, brothers, sisters, and deacons who will love you with their whole mind and heart and gladly spend their entire lives serving your church and making you known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children, and choose from our homes those needed for your work. Mary, Queen of the Clergy, pray for us. Pray for our priests, religious, and deacons. Obtain for us many more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, James our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress and useless worry. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the kingdom, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet. Mm -hmm. Through Christ our Lord. A couple of announcements. So tonight, here at the cathedral, there will be a communal penance service it's a communal prayer service with then opportunities for individual confession. I believe there will be four priests available tonight for people to have access to the sacrament for. 
That will be at 6 p.m. It's not live streamed, but I do want to just point out that if anyone would like to come, it's to open to the entire cluster, community, area, whoever wishes to receive the sacrament. Tomorrow, the holy day for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we have multiple Masses. The 8.30 Mass, the school Mass, will be live streamed with Bishop Powers here at the Cathedral. Uh, there will be multiple Masses. Check the bulletin for all the different schedules. But 8.30 Mass tomorrow will be live streamed, but it will also be here with the school kids. Continue to invite those of you online. Keep sharing these Masses on Facebook. Keep telling people about it on Facebook. Cold weather, I know it's hard for some people to get out. I know there's some issues with COVID. I also know that sometimes it's just not being available to have access to church. For those of you who find this valuable, please keep sharing so that others might have access as well. Please stand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.